One of the nice things about Reunion is just how easy it is for a beginner to use, all the while having some very powerful features right at the fingertips of the more experienced users. And creating a chart is no exception. Let's go ahead and make a chart. We can move to the top of this tree and move to Charts view. Since we want to make a descendant chart, we'll leave this selected and then go ahead and hit the Create Chart button. And there we go, a pretty attractive chart with very little effort required to make it. It even includes pictures of the people that are contained in the family file. If we want to change its appearance, one of the easiest ways to do that is to change the colors of the boxes. Reunion will color code the tree by generation and we can change that by going to the tree menu and selecting colors and look at the presets that are available. One of the more popular presets is the rainbow set of colors. There we go. I do encourage you to experiment with the different presets. One of my favorites is the dark borders, which has a white box fill, but with nice colored outlines of the boxes. If you want to customize your chart even further, it's easy to do. One of the keys to this is knowing how to select objects in the chart. Once you've selected them, then you can change them. Let's go ahead and select the box at the top of the tree to make it stand out even more than it does. Here we can make it red, make the box fill red, and there we go. As you can see, the default selection mode for Reunion is to select a single box when you click on it. But there's other combinations that are available. Let's take a look here. Looking at selection mode, you can select a whole generation at a time, or all of a box's ancestors or descendants. Let's take a look at descendants here. Some people like to color code their trees by branch, and that's easy to do by selecting the top, the top box in a branch. And we can make that a different color, such as a nice light orange. And another branch here, we can make that a light purple make it very distinctive that way. Clicking on a box isn't the only way you can select an object. You can also click and drag across objects like we do here to get that whole generation. We could have changed the selection mode to generation and done it that way. Sometimes it's easier just to select by dragging instead of going back to the menu. Since we've already selected a couple branches here we probably don't want to change those colors. So another useful thing to know is how to deselect boxes. And I'm going to do that by pushing on the shift key and then I can click on this box to deselect it and click on that box to deselect it. And then we can change the color of the rest of the generation. Say so make it light blue. And now those branches really stand out and we've changed the color of the rest of the generation to something else that we might like. This was just a quick look at some of the things you can do to customize the appearance of a chart, focusing on how to select objects as part of the process of changing their appearance. We'll take a look at other ways to customize the appearance of a chart in future videos. Hope to see you there.